welcome back to my channel so i hope you enjoyed last week's video um if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go click the subscribe button and if you like this week's video give that one a thumbs up as well um today i'm going to be doing my february favorites um i've only ever done one favorites video so i thought why not do it again for this month um i only have four favorites this month so it's not going to be a long video, but I'm going to get straight into it. Enjoy, guys. Okay, so first product I'm going to be talking about is the Krylon Professional Makeup Translucent Powder. It comes like this. Um, as you can see, the powder's on the bottom there. Um, I've had this since I went to makeup school. Um, I'm not going to open it because it'll literally go everywhere. Um, I stuck this in my kit. This is really good for setting like under eye concealer and overall setting your face. Like I set my face with it today and it has stayed nice and matte as you can see. Um, especially with concealers that you know that are going to crease underneath your eyes. I haven't tried it with the MAC Pro Longwear because it says it doesn't crease under the eyes but I know for a fact that it does. Um, I have the NARS Creamy Concealer on today and I use this. It literally does not crease for good six hours at least. So that's really good. I, always, I also use this to bake um, under my eyes and for my contour. Um, it's really good in giving that nice flawless finish. As you can see, um, you can't tell that I have really dark circles under my eyes. Um, so this is a really good product. I use this on all my clients as well and it doesn't give flashback with flash photography. So that is a really good product. I would definitely recommend it. Now, the next product I'm going to be talking about is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost. Um, you guys have seen me use this in pretty much all my videos since I got it. <laughs> um, I got this January. Um, and this is how big it is you can see it's a little bright there we go um, I use this literally every time I do my makeup look how much I still have left it is insane you literally have to use no product and it comes out looking like that um, it's in the corners of my eyes it's on my nose so my cupid bow like I literally use this to highlight everywhere that needs highlighting and I use a packing brush and I still have so much product left, left over. So this is a really good one. I love this highlighter. Um, and I've used a few different highlighters now and this is staying at the top. <laughs> okay, so next I have another Jeffree Star product. Um, it is one of the liquid lips, um, the holiday ones in the color Design of Blood. You guys know that I love this red. Um, I will leave the link down below for my review on these products um, so you can see how much I did love it but it has stayed a favorite I wear this every time I need a red I go straight for this one just purely because I know with the applicator it's probably one of my favorite things the applicator looks like so so just like the tart one that I explained last week which I'm actually wearing today um, the applicator curves into the curve of your lips so it's so easy to get a straight line and with a red lipstick you definitely need a straight line because you can see a wonky line from a mile away um, so this is amazing and it's just it's just comfortable when you put it on um, and lastly my favorite one I haven't had for that long I've only had a two weeks two weeks yeah and I literally haven't used anything since I'm wearing it today and it is the Tartis Pro Palette um, by Tarte Cosmetics. I reviewed this one last week and had a first impression on it. You guys know that I loved it. It just has such a good color range. So I'm wearing like a, a burnt out terracotta at the moment. Um, these colors, let me just open it. I use Classic as my all round base and then I use Innocent in the crease and then Whimsy on the lid so if you have this at home that's how i created this look yeah i love this pro palette um the quality of the eyeshadows are professional um obviously and they are a little harder to blend but i've 
gotten used to it, you just have to blend, blend, blend. But the colour range is phenomenal. Like, you could literally make anything with this palette. Now, I know I said that with my burgundy one, but I feel like this has more than the burgundy. And the duochrome eyeshadows are so beautiful when you put them on. But just wet your brush before you put them on. It will help it stick better. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this palette. Now I know what everyone's saying. I have seen it a few bad reviews. Um, I don't know if those people just got like dodgy palettes, but I don't have a flaw with this one. Anyways, yeah, that's my four favorites for this month. I don't have as much because I have been just buying like the same stuff, like Mucali colors and her liquid lips and her eyeshadow palettes and Too Faced palettes. So. I've had all those brands before. I hadn't tried the Jeffree Skin Frost until now or any Tarte products. So they are definitely my favorites for February. Um, and today I actually tried, I've had like this pack, like a hauler pack of Benefit stuff, but I use my Benefit ones that do contour while that highlight is popping. Um, and it come with like a liquid bronzer and a lip gloss and it, a mini size their real mascara and I never used it because I'm obsessed with my LD one um, this mascara like I was gonna put lashes on today I'll just bring you in closer has made my eyelashes look so long and full like, and that's just with the mascara like they look insane like look at <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how I haven't used it yet. I've literally had it for almost a year since it's been sitting there. And this, these are the eyelashes I could have had. They're insane. So Benefit, I love the Their Real Mascara. I do advise everyone to go get it. <laughs> um, I didn't put it as a favorite today because I literally just tried it today. Uh, but I bet you it would be in my March favorites because <laughs> this mascara is beautiful. Um, I might do like a favorite drugstore. I feel like all I've been using are expensive makeup lately. So maybe next week I'll do a full drugstore look or a favorite drugstore foundations or eyeshadows or something like that. Um, if you want to see that, just let me know down in the comments below and I will leave a link to the Jeffree Star review and the Tarte Pro Palette review as well if you're wanting to see that. Um, but yeah, that is all for today. If you like this one, go give it a thumbs up and go click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next week with a new video. Bye guys!